time to go to the gym, 8 a.m. About to make the pre. So I'm switching out my pre-workout today. I'm doing the Cosmic Stardust. And I'm gonna eat my food in the car on the way. I'm doing um, a heavy lift today. So I'm really excited to lift heavy and I'm doing legs. I'm very much so lower body focused with all of my workouts and everything. So, ooh, it's pink. So that's just where my mind is at in the gym. So I'm gonna go with the flow and let the pre-workout guide me. Let's get it in. Show y'all my gym fit of the vlog. I don't know. Today I woke up not knowing what to wear. So I mixed these two colors together. We have the Nomadic Blue amplifies with a long sleeve crop top today um i don't know why i'm blanking on this name but it's like a blue gray like slate type of color and i think it looks super cute got my little socks on they're probably dirty <laughs> that's gross um and then underneath i mean i'm not taking off my top today um i just have on a black alpha Lee alpha lux sports bra so that's the fit. Y'all see the quads poking out? Yes, sir. About to hit the legs today, AKA my favorite day, which is every day. I think it'll be pretty interesting for you guys Ooh, to see how ashy I am right now. I think it'll be pretty interesting for you guys to see the difference between my workouts and how they vary from day to day. It's important to give your body rest, right? Which was me yesterday. Um, and then today... I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, and I'm going to go hard, okay? You got to push yourself to the limits if you want results. And if you have to ask, I don't know if I'm lifting heavy enough. Girl, you probably aren't. You probably aren't because you would know, okay? So up that weight, five pounds, see how you feel, girl, and um, that's progressive overload for you. So we're going to go to the gym. Y'all know the vibes. Is a gym sash without the fig bars? I don't know. So I like to have my routine of just eating that and then sipping my pre on the way. Um, really excited. I always get super excited for leg day. You can see my full blown leg day workout routine for beginners in the cards. I have several videos, um, gym focus, leg, lower body focus, as that is what I am in my fitness playlist. So definitely check that out for those of you guys that are interested. It is bulking season, so maybe go watch those and you can get some ideas of what you can start doing and implementing within your own routines if you have similar goals to myself. So we love a little community supporting each other and showing up together um, every single day. So I'm going to show you, okay. I've said this before, weight is relative. Just because I'm lifting, I don't know, let's say 10 pounds, doesn't mean you need to do the same exact weight. Apply it to where you see fit and your level of, um, like your level in the gym. If you are new to the gym and you see someone lifting, I don't know, 200 pounds and then you do that for the first time, God bless. Don't do that. Start out where you start, and that is okay. That's why I'm never caught up in what someone else is lifting. Like, focus on you, focus on your form, focus on your breathing and your technique. Like, make sure you're doing it proper so you don't hurt yourself. And don't get caught up in the comparison on girls and fit girls that you see on Instagram and think that you need to be doing what they're doing in order to look like them because that is not the case. So go at your own pace it takes time you know it definitely takes time 
I feel like a pilot. I have to get everything situated in the whip today. But it's a Sunday, aka Sunday fun day. We made it. That was quick, quick. I figured it's a beautiful morning on a Sunday. Why not take the dolls to my secret spot and have a moment of gratitude. I still have my pre-workout, so you know, I don't have to worry too much. Oh my gosh. Talk about how peaceful. fooling around for now. Oh Jesus. I'm just saying start your day out in a relaxed mindset. Positive one at that. Even if it's just three things that you're thankful for. I woke up. I have breakfast that I get to eat in my fridge. I have a roof over my head. Those are basic things that honestly some people don't even have. So share your thanks, start journaling, cop my guide, go outside, and if you want to amplify it, journal in nature. That's what I like to do. Even if you have a backyard or privacy, you know, sit on the grass, ground yourself. I like elements like the sun, so when I'm outside journaling, amazing, I just feel recharged. But water, even like the sand, like natural elements, if you're able to touch that, you're just grounding your energy. So, let me get out of here before a train comes and then I'm stuck. <laughs> so, I guess that's the perks of living in the middle of nowhere, right? Can walk to the water. But, I saved some pre because I knew I wanted to take you guys to my secret spot show you guys a little piece of me and what brings me joy and what has kind of in a sense replaced hiking you guys know in LA like hiking was my thing being outside in nature getting the sun touching the ground grounding my energy sitting on the rocks and breathing and meditating like that brought me so much joy in my day-to-day -day routine and since I haven't had that this place kind of replaced it and it's like polar opposites you guys right like one is like very mountainy this is very water-esque so i'm not even mad like it's a very calm relaxed place if you don't even have music just sit and listen to the sounds of nature y'all heard the birds chirping this morning it was a little bit windy so we got some of that element but like the waves crashing on the shore like relaxation okay here for it here for it so it's 9 46 let's get out of here and get our bus to the gym
Guys, I came home to eat a little something because first of all the machines were occupied but these have been my go-to these classic English muffins from Traders I'm gonna have two of them eat the rest of these and there's 10 grams of protein for both and I just like put a little earth balance on there keep it simple um, get some carbs in so I can lift heavy later when I go back to the gym um, I'm not really craving anything with like flavor so this usually does the trick <laughs> food right now um in the last vlog i had ran to wegmans and picked up some new oat milk based creamers that i haven't had before so i wanted to give these a try because they're all different brands side note this is the one i'm like almost out like one more coffee and this one's done but i've already tried this and i want to see if these other ones are better this is the so delicious creamy vanilla um i also picked up this nut pods oat creamer in cinnamon swirl unsweetened oh i didn't know that um and dairy free <laughs> uh 10 calories per serve and then this one is the plant-based oat creamer um in french vanilla gluten-free dairy-free no added gums or oils 15 calories per serve and the ingredients list is super short so i don't know what i'm gonna go for today but i do have this cold brew here um which i'm gonna have in between my sessions you know needs to toast a little longer i'm kind of obsessed right now with english muffins that are buttered it's just it hits different okay so i was gonna eat my leftover thai and then i remembered it's very spicy so i don't know about going back to the gym with that in my system <laughs> so i'm gonna have to wait for that until post workout so i can get some more protein um i don't know it's unsweetened but does it have like stevia or something it doesn't but cinnamon swirl kind of sounds good i don't know guys should i mix them together it's really not that serious. Put my other English muffin in. While we concoct this drink. So, anyway, I was in the gym, right? How long was I there? 84 minutes. 
and it's a heavy lift session i did not even get a chance to touch the smith machine because there was what i call a gym hog aka somebody that bounces in between three different machines at the same time like they claim it with their water bottle next to it or they put their towel or their gym bag so you can't really occupy it and my gym is very small there's like literally one of every machine so i don't know i was not really trying to be waiting around I sat and waited for 15 minutes and I'm like, okay, my pre-workout's gone. I need to go eat some proper food because I'm gonna pass out. Hence why I am here right now. So, snack break. Um, I guess I'm gonna go for this French vanilla. Elmhurst is the brand. We'll see if it's any good. I love trying new things out because I can give you guys my review and then I'm just always on a quest to finding something that's, you know, just elite. You know what I'm saying? I do love oat milk creamers. They're very thick compared to almond milk and it actually has like a creamy, you know, consistency similar to dairy. Oh, that's very light. Very light. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I low-key want to mix. It's not sweet at all. Is this unsweetened as well? I really didn't read the label. One gram of sugar. Oh, it has cane sugar. It's not sweet. But it definitely adds the creaminess if you don't like black coffee. I like my English muffin to be a little crispy. Um, I don't know. I feel like I want to mix a little bit of this. I don't know why that sound bothered me. Because cinnamon swirl just sounds great, right? Oh, this smells good. This one's thick. I don't know they taste fine mixed together i'm gonna have to try it out on its own tomorrow um but yay we tried some new stuff out today Ooh, that's just how i like it baby a little crispy oh my god i'm literally scarred so when i was younger we would go to like the um ymca the pool and you know we'd get out of the pool and go to the vending machine and i would be wet from getting out of the pool and going to get snacks i would go press the buttons of the vending machine i would get electrocuted and i don't know if anyone else was like that but i just have this distinct memory of just being electrocuted every single time i went to the ymca just to get some snacks <laughs> And it triggers me because I feel like that's going to happen with the toaster. And one time I was little and I stuck a knife in there to get whatever was in there out. And I learned my lesson real quick. So <laughs> I'm traumatized. 29 years later. Okay, not 29 years later, but you know. Anyway, this is the, um, okay, this one's not my favorite. I prefer the red tub. It's soy free. Uh, but this is also the whipped. So it's very light. I don't also like this, but this is what I could get. From the store and i do two servings to hit my calories for the day so i'm just gonna have this little snack all right y'all hear my stomach in between um what i got going on today which is my sunday fun day back to this cake <laughs> crackhead energy i swear i need to stop having so much caffeine but mind your business really that is my i guess second meal i mean i had my fig bar earlier um but i eat small portions throughout the day so we're gonna have this with our coffee <laughs> I just ate i can't go to the gym right now i need to let my food do a little digestion digestion oh my god digesting 
brain fart. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my journaling right now since I didn't get a chance to do it this morning and you guys, consistency is key. Like when I look back and I see my dates and it's back to back to back, like that makes me so happy because Look, things don't work unless you do, okay? Consistency routine is definitely crucial and that's why when I wake up in the morning, I do the same things because it's not like I have to remember. Like I'm just doing it out of habit. Wake up, take my dog out, same thing, wake up and I just know coffee, journaling, you know? So I prefer to do it first thing in the morning but also right before bed. Honestly, whenever you can get it in is... Um, the best today is the 19th oh my god this month is going by so fast so i'm gonna spend some quiet time a page a day is just all i do and if i feel like i want to do more let the pen take over while this lighting is good then i will do that it's your journal your own personal thoughts Trying to get used to this this is not sweet at all so if you guys like super sweet coffees like starbucks syrups you're probably not gonna like that <laughs> but it's good for the gains because that means it's low calorie fat content wise so i think um it's growing on me a little bit so i'm gonna get this done and it's 11 14 so maybe i'll head to the gym around noon i gotta do my chores because it's sunday I like to also, you know, clean up and restart for the week. I'm going to listen to my productivity playlist on my Spotify. If you guys um, want to check it out, the link is always down. I think the link is down below. But it's like lo-fi music. Five hours worth. So I got you. One cup of tea a day is just not enough. I'm gonna show you guys how I make a black tea oat milk latte. Okay, you guys, so I have some water heating up in the microwave. Now, you can use whatever tea you guys like. This is my absolute favorite. You can find it on my Amazon store. Not only do I love the packaging of the Harney and Sons, it just gives me very luxe tea party vibes this one is the paris tea and it's a black tea it is so good i don't even know how to explain it but it's black tea with vanilla flavoring black currant flavor black bergamot oil caramel flavoring and that's pretty much it 40 to 60 milligrams of caffeine content so um please go pick this up for the fall time i think you guys will absolutely love the taste if you like black tea like i do and i find that this goes really well in a tea latte so i'm just gonna use this measuring cup because i'm gonna heat up my oat milk and this is obviously going to be a dairy free recipe and i do want to try to make it a little bit more creamy by adding in some of this french vanilla since it goes very well or it sounds like it would go well with this black tea um flavor so i tried this out earlier today so y'all already know what's up with that and i'm so lazy um i just threw this in for like three minutes but how cute are the satchels they sell some of the flavors at target but they don't carry this in store so definitely stock up on Amazon and I'm gonna do two of these because I like it to be nice and strong when I add the oat milk and it smells so good so freaking good so I'm gonna let that steep like this is giving this is giving all the fall vibes also, this is my mug today. <laughs> what does it say? Friends, best friends. 
Oh, she's hot, hot. But yeah, I'm gonna let that do its thing. I like strong teas, so you could definitely just do one tea bag. Um, but I'm extra, and I do have work to do, so the extra caffeine will be nice. So in my measuring cup, this is microwavable. Um, I guess it just depends on how creamy you want this to be. It will depend how much oat milk you want to do. And I find that oat milk is the best just because it is more creamy in consistency in comparison to almond milk. So I'm just going to do a little bit because I'm going to add some of this French vanilla. And I might be extra and add a little bit of vanilla extract just to really get those flavors. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and then I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave because you don't wanna add cold milk to our hot tea. I'm really trying to get more into um, like teas I love my herbal teas, my peppermint teas. Um, last night I had a bedtime tea, and I'm gonna be honest, that gave me crazy dreams. Anyone else have like a bedtime tea and you just have like lucid dreams? Okay, I was literally terrified. <laughs> and I remember it like it was two seconds ago. So apparently I got called to go into the military, like I had no choice, boom, 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 you need to come and be in the military. and. I was panicking because they only said I could bring one small backpack of stuff with me and I'm over here trying to figure out what I need to take with me to go on this journey and I was literally so stressed. Shout out my Virgo rising because I didn't know what would fit and like what, I, it was just a mess. So I woke up, long story short, before I had to actually um, depart. So it was a mess. But yeah, bedtime tea, I don't know if I'm going to continue to have that, but it was very good, very relaxing. Um, and then of course I have my peppermint tea typically after I eat bigger meals just to help settle my digestion, keep my stomach on flat flat type of vibes. But also I want to kind of replace my afternoon coffee with like a tea because yes it is caffeinated but it's just a gentle caffeine sensation if that makes any sense because honestly guys I'm already having pre-workout that's overboard for me. I really don't need to be having a coffee to follow it or even to go before the gym. So I'm just trying to be a little bit better. So drop your favorite tea brands slash teas in general. That one that I'm making right now, top tier number one favorite, especially if you guys like black tea and you like that boost of um, caffeine. So definitely recommend picking it up and the packaging is so cute. You can reuse it. I typically reuse them for makeup brush holders. Perfect. I'm really trying to get more into um, like teas. I love my herbal teas, my peppermint teas. Um, last night I had a bedtime tea and I'm gonna be honest, that gave me crazy dreams. Anyone else have like a bedtime tea and you just have like lucid dreams? Okay, I was literally terrified <laughs> and I remember it like it was two seconds ago. So apparently I got called to go into the military. Like I had no choice. Boom, boom, boom. You need to come and be in the military. And I was panicking because they only said I could bring one small backpack of stuff with me. And I'm over here trying to figure out what I need to take with me to go on this journey. And I was literally so stressed. Shout out my Virgo rising because I didn't know what would fit and like what I, it was just a mess. So I woke up long story short before I had to actually, um, depart so it was a mess but yeah bedtime tea i don't know if i'm going to continue to have that but it was very good very relaxing um and then of course i have my peppermint tea typically after i eat bigger meals just to help settle my digestion keep my stomach on flat flat type of vibes but also i want to kind of replace my afternoon coffee with like a tea because yes it is caffeinated but it's just a gentle caffeine sensation if that makes any sense because honestly guys i'm already having pre-workout that's overboard for me i really don't need to be having a coffee to follow it or even to go before the gym so i'm just trying to be a little bit better so drop your favorite tea brands slash teas in general that one that i'm making right now 
top tier number one favorite especially if you guys like black tea and you like that boost of um caffeine y'all can cop my skims fit as well also i'm wearing my anna louise this is just my after the gym shower outfit anna louisa jewelry links below um flannel target extra large men's section Ooh, they're finally out in store um, so I'll link these down below so you guys can check them out. I recommend going up several sizes for a cozy fit. And then Skims tank and then the ribbed boxers. Yeah, this is a little better. I like when it's steamed. It's hard trying to get the angles, y'all. but it turns into like a milk tea. Like if you have like boba, it's like a milk tea, it kind of tastes like that without the boba. The creaminess. So yeah, you can just add as much milk as you want to taste. Oh my God, so good. And that's it, that is my recipe to making a black tea latte at home. Not gonna lie, I could have definitely used three tea bags because I like, well this is a really big mug, but I love strong flavor. Do you smell that? Mm -hmm.